So we're here in San Pellegrino, um, basically for an altitude camp and basically we had a three week chance to get some of us together. So we have five, I guess, five climbers of the team all together here on training camp and it's really just an opportunity to get a good training block in at altitude. Also being in a quiet place with, a, with some part part of the team that is going to, to ride the big tours is also uh, building up like cameradism uh, with, the, with the riders and uh, it's a good uh, team building also. It's just actually pretty cool that we could all come here together and have the support from the team um, for these weeks and certainly looking forward to uh, Swiss and especially Giro and Tour de France, it's really targeted towards those events coming up. So. Yeah, it's been a fun, fun camp. Uh, for me personally, peacefulness is really important. I I work better and I can do better my job if I'm in in envir in one environment that does not stress me and uh, in a place where it's really in, like peaceful and and nice to be in. Um, so I would say that. My number one priority of being in on altitude is being on a peaceful place. There's a huge benefit in training at altitude. Um, for starters, like we're here at 1,800 meters, um, so quite high above sea level. And basically, when you're training at this level, your body is under more stress. There's less oxygen, so you're having to work harder just naturally. Like we find, especially in the first days when you arrive here, you have to train. You don't look at your watts so much. You really have to look at your heart rate because that will gen generally be higher than what it is at sea level. So you really have to listen to your body more, but basically your body is just learning to adapt to that stress and, and there's less oxygen and it creates more red blood cells. And so it's just a way to really um, stress the body, but then also adapt to that stress as well. And, and then you see the benefits. Like normally you have to be at altitude for a minimum of 10 days. And then yeah, any, any time after that, you can see the benefits. So that's why you see so many professional cyclists now sort of basing themselves out of altitude before big events. Yeah, here uh, in San Pellegrino, um, I did focus a lot on um, getting into race speed again because I had some issues after Liège and I couldn't race the Vuelta, so basically it's almost two months I'm not racing. So um, I had my, <laughs> my pain inflictor, Paolo, <laughs> on the motorbike and I had to, <laughs> to follow him on climbs on a specific tempo um, and then we were like focusing also on uh, over under uh, efforts always behind the motorbike so I had to go out of the sleep stream uh, of the motorbike for a certain amount of time and then again uh, I had to be back on the wheel of Paolo which sounds also a bit funny to be honest. <laughs> It's been like painful, but also fun. Uh, I really like to ride behind the motorbike and Paolo makes me always really relaxed and calm and he, he can really take the best out of me. I don't know how he can, uh, but he does. In terms of like the goals we have for like the Giro and the Tour coming up, um, I think a camp like this is, is quite important and yeah, we've had like the classics so far this season, but like riders are coming in and out and you're not always spending a lot of time together. Um, so I think that's one reason this has been nice as well. Like for example, Elisa hasn't done a lot of racing just with her sickness and, and illness, that sort of thing. So it's been really nice to get to know her a bit more at this camp. And certainly she's our big GC leader, I think, especially for the tour. So it's nice to like get to know her more and, and the other girls and I think just we're here riding every day together, spending time together, <clears throat> getting to know each other off the bike. And I think when you're in a race like a, a tour where there are stressful moments, not every day goes to plan and you have to really be able to trust each other and, and be honest with, our, with each other and know what your strengths are. And I think when you've had this time together at camp and you get to know each other, you see how people sort of operate and work off the bike as well. Like I think that's a really important aspect that you understand what people like, don't like, and that can kind of help once you get into that tour environment and, and going for GC and there's daily stresses and just to have that a bit more trust, I think is really, really important. Um, 
Well, to be honest, at your eyes, maybe I can be a good leader, but I don't see myself as a good leader. I just win races sometimes and I'm strong on my bike and the rest is made by my teammates. And a good leader for me is somebody that can really make the team to work well together um, and bring the strongest to win the race and not necessarily the one that wins the race. Yeah, I do feel like this is my home and it's been so special to join the team. I think I've said many times it's been a team I've always looked up to, but it's just felt so nice to come in here and kind of find my place. And um, yeah, it's just, it's everything I thought it would be plus more. And I'm really, really happy in the team and really excited for the racing coming up. And even the racing we've done so far, I just love the way we race and the support we have. And again, I think like we have so many riders that are that are really going well and some of our young riders like Shireen for example has really impressed me here on this camp just she's such a young rider but she's so mature so it's such a good head on her and I really just see she's going to be a champion well, she already is a champion but more and more into the future so no it's just been really nice to become part of this team and to work alongside the riders and, and the staff as well like this camp has been amazing I've never had this kind of level of support before for a camp I mean I mean, look where we are. I think all the staff have put their hand up to visit here at some point. So that's been a good aspect. I think everyone's wanted to come and visit us, but it's been, yeah, incredible. For me, like my biggest goal is I just want to turn up at the Tour de France, like 100% healthy, 100% ready to go, in the best shape that I've been in and just ready to do my job for the team. I know Elise is super motivated um, from last year as well and I really believe in what she can do there. So I think we're gonna have an incredible team for the tour and I just wanna be part of that. Um, so yeah, I just wanna be 100% ready to go and in my best shape ever. For sure, uh, I'm having a good training camp and I feel like my shape is growing uh, but I need racing, otherwise I would not be a bike rider. And yeah, it, I don't expect anything special from, from the first race. I, I know that I'm going to, uh, to suffer a lot, but at least I will try to make the others also to suffer a little bit in terms of letting my teammates win the races. time to get back in competitions because I'm a bit tired of training all the time. I need I need the race number on my back and I need to go and fight. I don't know. I feel like uh, it's time to, to punch.